running combine and have that view over there, that's just pretty awesome. That's almost as awesome as watching that Mike Les guy on YouTube. That is one good looking tractor and grain cart. Hey everyone, it is Farmhand Mike bringing you another video from Dark County, Ohio. In today's video, we are out here at the farm that I help out on side dressing corn. Side dressing corn is a term used for feeding the corn, fertilizing the corn, whatever you want to call it. But in this video, we are using what we call an applicator hooked behind the tractor here. And two different tractors in this video that belong to the farm. John Deere 7830 you see here pulling a DMI or Case International nitrogen applicator this is taking 16 rows of corn at a time and you're also going to see a John Deere 7130 point a little bit smaller applicator taking 12 rows inside the applicator is 28% uh, nitrogen fertilizer liquid nitrogen and we also mix in a couple other things I can't tell you what all those things are because we are going for the record for growing world record yielding corn this year so I can't tell you all our secrets anyways uh, I'm gonna be seen in throughout this video running uh, both tractors we take turns around here uh, between the tractors hauling nitrogen back and forth from the farm to the field and whatnot but uh, got some drone footage here to get started for you gonna have some in the cab footage on the ground footage all that good stuff from both tractors now we do put down some fertilizer when we plant the corn. Uh, if you go back to some of my corn planting videos, there was two fertilizer tanks on the corn planter. There was a small tank, that was a starter fertilizer. And then the bigger tank, we also had nitrogen in there. But then after the corn comes up about this high, it's a pretty common practice for guys to come back in and give it another shot of nitrogen. And some guys are even doing multiple applications coming in with like a high clearance spray or whatnot and uh, wide dropping it putting nitrogen later on. Uh, we haven't got that fancy yet, but uh, that's something to look at in the future. Uh, other guys will do it where they'll use anhydrous ammonia. They'll use a tool bar that'll go between the rows here and knife in anhydrous ammonia. Uh, that works too. Uh, this is a little faster in my opinion and a little safer. Uh, anhydrous ammonia, if you do break a knife or something, you're going to burn some corn. Of course, if we have a hose come loose here and it's sprayed on the corn, it would burn it as well, but uh, not quite as dangerous. I have a little over 13 minutes of total video here showing you all the action. Uh, this is pretty much going to do it for the corn. We may come in here later on in the season and spray some fungicide on this corn. Uh, that can be done with a high clearance sprayer. Uh, some guys will put it on with a crop duster or a helicopter. And other than that, we just need sunshine and rain. And we'll be back in these fields this fall to harvest some corn. And you may pay attention to row number two as I come down here. I did not realize it while I was running the tractor here, but we fixed it the next day. Got a leaking hose, and you can see where I am laying down some nitrogen on top of the ground. I hope it didn't spray over on the corn and burn it. Now I need to go back to the field and check it. With two tractors and two applicators going, and you got two guys hauling... Uh, product from the farm back to the field we can cover a lot of acres in a day of course the days are really long here in june too so uh, this is actually one of my favorite jobs to do on the farm i really enjoy this but you do have to pay attention because uh if you drift off you're going to run over corn i am going to quit talking now so you guys enjoy the rest of this video and feel free to comment below and hit that like button And a perfect way to start out the day, I was filling the applicator the one morning and the hose exploded on me.
And that's going to wrap up this video. Thanks everybody for watching and supporting my channel. And all we need is rain and sunshine to make this corn keep on growing. Don't forget, you can also check me out on Instagram and Twitter at FarmHandMike. Feel free to like this video and comment below.